Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a few examples of division on Abacus. Divisor is a one digit number in each case. So this is the basic division method. Okay, I'll be demonstrating it again on request of many subscribers who wanted to see few more examples. So let's look at the first example. The number is 743 divided by 3. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to take this number in a, as a question set on a separate set of uh, rods on the abacus. So what I'll do is I'll consider this as the units place of, the, of our question set. So this being a three digit number, I'll start with the hundreds place of this question set. So the number will be 743 as I have taken on the abacus and then divide this number for dividing this number by three the answer will be uh, seen on this answer set okay this will be our units place of our answer set and we'll now start with the division of uh, this number by three so first number will as usual will start from the left the first digit that we see on the question set is seven on the third rod which is the hundreds place we'll recite the table of three arrive as close to this 7 as possible so we get 2 times 3 is 6 which is the closest without surpassing that number so 2 times will be taken on the exactly corresponding rod of the answer set okay this being the third rod of the question set we'll take the answer on th 2 times on the uh, third rod of the answer set so 2 will be taken on the answer set and then we'll subtract 6 that is 2 times 3 which is 6 from this 7 so 6 will be subtracted here then we'll move to the next rod that is the second rod of the question set the number that we have is 14 and we'll recite the table of 3 get as close to 14 as possible without surpassing it and we get 4 times 3 which is 12 so the 4 times will be taken on the exactly corresponding rod of the answer set this being our second rod of the question set will take 4 times on the second rod of the answer set and then subtract 12 from this 14 so 1 and 2 is subtracted 12 being 4 times 3 all right so now moving to the final rod of the question set we have the number 23 with us then we'll recite the table of 3 again we get 7 times 3 which is 21 7 will be taken on the corresponding rod that is the units place of the answer set so 7 will be taken on the answer set and 21 will be subtracted from the question set okay the final number that we have is 2 which is smaller than our divisor and hence will be called the remainder in this case okay so the answer that we have for 743 divided by 3 is 247 with a remainder of 2 i'll write down the answer here 247 with a remainder of 2 the remainder uh, we mentioned it in the bracket in our case now moving to the next question which is 256 divided by 5 so again in similar fashion this being our units place of the question set i'll start the number 256 like this now we'll, for dividing by 5 i'll first check the left uh, leftmost digit on the question set the leftmost digit on the question set is just 2 we cannot recite the table of 5 without surpassing this number so this is being the smaller than the divisor hence we'll move to the next rod and we'll check the number as 25 till this rod okay so we are on the second rod of the question set so our answer will also start on the second rod of the answer set the number is 25 so, uh, reciting the table of 5 we get 5 times 5 as 25 so the on the answer set on the second rod that is which is the cor exactly corresponding rod of the answer set i'll take 5 5 times 5 being 25 i'll subtract 25 from this 25 we have nothing left here we'll now move to the final rod of the question set as well as on the answer set we have the number 6 on the question set 
reciting the table of 5 we have just 1 times 5 that can be subtracted from this so i'll take just 1 on the corresponding units place rod of the answer set and subtract 5 from the question set and this one that we have on the question set becomes the remainder in this case so the answer that we have for 256 divided by 5 is 51 with a remainder of 1 Moving to the next question, the number is 908 divided by 7. Okay, so again, this being our uh, units place of the question set, the number will start in this fashion 908. And for dividing by 7, we'll be reciting the table of 7 in each case. I'll start with the leftmost digit on the question set. We have 9. So we can subtract 1 times 7, which is 7 itself, and we'll take that 1 on the exactly corresponding rod that is this being the third rod we'll start the answer on the third rod of the answer set so i'll take one on the third rod of the answer set and subtract seven from this nine okay now we are left with two on this rod we'll now move to uh, one rod to the uh, right and we have the number 20 on the question set till this second rod the number is 20 2020 okay so from 20 we can subtract 2 times 7 which is 14 so 2 times 7 is 14 so 2 will be taken on this uh, second rod of the answer set okay and then 14 will be subtracted from 20 so for subtracting 14 i'll, I'll be doing it thus this way 1 and for subtracting 4 here i'll do plus 6 minus 10 on the second rod moving one rod further that is the final rod of both the question set as well as the answer set the number that we have on the question set is 68 and we are reciting the table of 7 we get 9 times 7 which is 63 so we will have to take 9 on the corresponding rod of the answer set that is the units place rod of the answer set i will take 9 on the units place of the answer set and then subtract 63 9 times 7 being 63 I'll subtract 63 from the question set and the division of in this case is complete with the answer that we have is 129 as the quotient and 5 as the remainder. Okay, so 908 divided by 7 gives us 129 as the quotient and 5 as the remainder. Moving to the final uh, question, <clears throat> please uh, do observe this carefully. This is a little different and we, one, we need to be very careful with the rods that we use while doing such kind of sums. The question set, uh, question number is 805. So this will being the units place of our question set, the 805 will be taken in this fashion. Dividing it by 4, so we will start with the leftmost digit which is 8. Resetting the table of 4, we get 2 times 4 as 8. So this being our third rod of the question set, the answer will start on the third rod as well. So 2 times will be taken on the answer set, third rod of the answer set. 8 will be subtracted from this question set in this fashion. Moving one rod to the right, we have nothing here on the question set. Okay, We have 0, absolutely 0 on the question set Okay, till this rod. So since we have nothing to do on the second rod of the question set, we will do nothing on the second rod of the answer set and then move one rod further to the right. Now we have the number 5 on the question set, units place of the question set. So reciting the table of 4, we can just subtract 1 times 4 from this 5. So 1 will be taken on the units place of the answer set. Remember it is very important to use the corresponding rod only okay to take the answer so this 5 being on the units place of the question set we need to take the 1 on the units place of the answer set only okay so 1 times 4 is 4 so i'll subtract 4 from this we get plus 1 minus 5 and the final answer that we have for 805 divided by 4 is 201 with a remainder of 1 I hope this division method is now clear with everyone and these examples to, to prove to be useful to 
all uh, subscribers please do provide feedback on this video it will be really helpful to me thank you